Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to actually do a tutorial on setting up OptiScaler here on my Arch Linux install. So here I am on the GitHub page. If you haven't downloaded it already, you can go to this nightly builds and download the compressed file. I already have it installed. So I'm actually going to scroll to installation and I'm going to scroll to manual because we are not on Windows and I'm specifically going to look at the AMD Intel. So I have it already downloaded and I've extracted it. This is the contents of the file. So first thing we need to do, we're going to modify control. So we're going to go here on control. This game supports DLSS, but it does not support frame generation, but we're going to make that run too. So I'm going to go to browse local files. For Unreal Engine specifically, it gives you specific folders. I don't believe this is Unreal Engine, but I will show that in the next video where I actually show doing this same process in uh, another game that is Unreal Engine 5. But as you can see, you have all of this. And what you have to do is you just take this entire contents, copy it. You're going to paste everything in there. Now I did paste some of this in here before, so I'm just going to hit apply all and I'm going to put rename on that because it had to rename one thing, <laughs> which was the license, this licenses folder. Okay. Normally you won't get that. And now what you have to do, once you're done with that, you're going to rename the OptiScaler DLL file to DXGI DLL. So we're going to scroll down till we find the OptiScaler DLL right here. We're going to rename that. And we're going to rename it DXGI, leave the DLL. We're just going to overwrite because there was another file there already from me doing it before. You have to locate the NVNGX underscore DLSS DLL. And again, with Unreal Engine, that is in a different folder. And you just rename it to NVNGX DLL. So we're going to go up to the ends. Here it is right here. NVNGX underscore DLL. So we're just going to rename this. We're going to get rid of the DLSS. And now it's just NVNGX. Okay. With everything set up and the files renamed, inside of uh, the OptiScaler folder inside of the control game here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to close that. We're going to launch the game. One option you can do is you can you can manually alter the uh, OptiScale.any folder. But there's a on-screen user interface you can bring up using the insert key on your keyboard. So once we're here in game, I'm just going to show the game with just the basic settings. If I go into options, display, right now it's letting me turn on DLSS here. Uh, with this GPU, I do have to set it to 1920 by 1080, <laughs> but to, uh, and upscale to 4K. But as you can see, my settings are set here. 
ray tracing is on ultra with three path tracing counts. This is the new setup that uh, with the new update to this game. Before then, it was just high, which was only one ray trace sample. We're going to go ahead and set it to ultra. DLSS is on, or DLSS through FSR is on, but I will show right now it's not using FSR, and I'll show in the config once I go into the game. So we're going to exit that. We're just going to continue. So what it's doing right now is it's using Intel's XCSS upscaler. As you can see, the game's getting 40, 50 frames a second. <laughs> you know, it's running good, you know, and the frame gen uh, stuff is not running because this game doesn't support frame gen. But I'm going to hit the insert key. We have this. Okay. Right now, I guess it is set to FSR 3. Okay, so we're going to hit that. We're going to hit apply. And let's see, let's uh, save the any file. And you can hear her shooting in the background because the way the game is functioning, you got to hit close and it'll go back. So let's go into options real quick. Okay, 4K. We've got that. Let's drop down to high because we actually want to have 60 frames a second in game or close to. Okay. So we're starting with a good base frame rate with the upscaling. You know, and if I had an RDNA 4 card, this might be able to force FSR 4 uh, on Linux. But, you know, that'll have to be a test that I do later when cards actually get in stock again. So right now, you know, the game, you know, it's fully playable this way. As far as I can tell, it is fully playable. The game is fully playable for me. I'm just going to come back here. We're going to hit insert again. We're going to go ahead and activate the frame gen. Uh, we're going to leave the FG HUD fix off. And this Opti FG is the one that's built in to OptiScaler. There are others like this uh, FSR FG via Nukem's DLSSG. That is a mod. I'm going to show that in another video where I'm actually going to modify uh, Remnant 2, which is an Unreal Engine 5 game. So let's save that. Close it. And as you can see, the HUD is kind of messed up in the game. Everything's jarbling around and jumping. But it's over 100 frames a second, as you can see. <laughs> so we'll hit insert again. Enable the HUD fix. Right now I just have it set to 1 as the limit, which seems to work for me, at least in this game. You can mess around with other stuff. I find that this FPS overlay does not work on Linux. <laughs> so... Um, but that's why Mango HUD is there. So we're going to save the any. We're going to close it again. Now the HUD is fixed. The health bar is fine. The text in the upper left is good. So let's see. I know if I go down some stairs, I, well, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> We'll get some action, monitor the frame rates. Oh, whoa. Where'd that come from? Okay, I see you, buddy. Bam. 
So far, we're fairly stable in the hundreds. I'm gonna throw a chair at somebody. <laughs> oh, I actually hit them both. Are you coming down the stairs? Yeah, as you can see, the game is fairly stable in the 100 frames a second here. Hey, you're running away, buddy. Yeah, I have not gotten very far in this game. <laughs> Mainly because with the ray tracing, the game was running, like, not great at all. So, where are you at? I know you're around here somewhere. You were just shooting at me. Huh. Oh, there you are. Oh, crap. Hmm. <laughs> Well, we dropped down to the 90s for that one. Oh, boy. Yeah, that almost killed me. Let's run down and get some health. Grab this so I can hit this full. Oh, get some health. <laughs> okay, are we over? Okay. But, as you can see, obviously the game runs really good. It is using FSR 3. Um, I do want to come back and test some games once I do have a RX 9070 XT. Unfortunately, I was at work when that card was released, even though my local Micro Center had almost 500 of them in stock that day. And it did, they didn't actually sell out of them until like four in the afternoon. So, <laughs> but, uh, the next game I'm going to test is a game that does have DLSS frame gen on it, which will be Remnant. And I am going to be... That's going to require the two mod files that need to be installed. But uh, so far, I do like this. You know, this uh, kind of essentially with games that don't have frame generation like Control... It essentially lets you force similarly uh, AMD fluid motion frames on Linux. You know, so that is something I do like. Uh, and the frame rate's really good. Uh, obviously, with my current GPU being the 7900 GRE, I really need to only run one sample on the ray tracing. Um... Uh, I'm assuming with the 9070 <laughs> XT, I could probably run this game at 4K with the one sample and probably actually hit 60 because that card's ray tracing ability is insanely improved. Um, so, <laughs> but uh, let me know if there's some games that you'd like me to test. Um, if I do have the games, I would gladly uh, test them. I do want to do a series of uh, just testing games here on Linux using OptiScaler. So, let me know. Like, comment below, share the video, and I'll see you next time. Later.